Hi, I'm going to give you a quick run through of the uh, new ride editor and data processing functions uh, that I've added to Golden Cheetah. Um, I've set up a, a rider called Floyd here, uh, my hero. Um, it's a file from the Tour of California that I downloaded from the trainingpigs.com uh, website. Thanks, guys. Um, obviously, Floyd didn't race. He was there, but he didn't race. Um, so uh, I've muddled around with it. Um, so first thing is just to show um, under the uh, config options in uh, preferences on Mac, tools options on Windows, um, under the ride data section, we've got the usual metadata sort of stuff, but I've also added a thing here to uh, configure um, data processors. So um, there's a, a standard base class for uh, data processors. These are, these are three um, different types that I've created. One is Patrick's um, torque value adjuster. Um, which I've uh, adjusted um, to a data processor. Thanks, Patrick. Um, we can play with that. Um, it's got a bunch of config that goes with it. I'm not going to describe that now. We haven't got time. Um, but you can say whether or not they run automatically when a ride file is opened um, or whether you're going to run them manually. Um, so uh, to run it manually um, under tools, um, they appear up, uh, up there on the menu um, and uh, you can run them manually. Let's run uh, Patrick's torque value adjuster. Um, what it does basically gives you a description of, of what it is, allows you to manually adjust those parameters and then you can run it. I'm not going to run it just yet because um, I want to go into the ride editor. Um, so over here in the editor I've got um, kind of a spreadsheet kind of view of, of the data and what it does is it highlights anomalies uh, with a little red, wiggly red line. Um, I can uh, refresh those anomalies by clicking on this little green splodge thing. Um, what it's doing is it's saying for each of these channels there's a bunch of rules that I've coded um, like uh, torque can't be uh, non-zero if there's zero cadence that seems wrong artificially high heart rate um, time going backwards same with distance that kind of stuff um, it's found a, um, a, a spike in power that uses um, anomaly detection against a weighted average um, I can uh, right click on that and ignore it in which case the wiggly line disappears or I can smooth it to the values either side, um, which case it kind of uh, does that. It appears in grey to show me that I've changed the value. I can revert that to say, actually, do you know what? I, uh, I didn't mean to edit it. Um, over here in the torque column, um, I've got this 22 value, but everything else seems to be zero. So um, that seems to be a bit strange. I can search across all of the data. In which case, look, in this one, I'm going to say that if there's a, oops, if is there anything in uh, the torque channel, uh, data series that is non-zero, go and find that. Well, it's only found one, um, so uh, that doesn't seem right. So I suspect that this is just a bad piece of data. So I'm going to highlight that column uh, and I'm going to delete it. Um, once it's gone, if I bring it back again um, with insert column, uh, it will come back with the data that was there before, um, but if I press save, that wouldn't have happened. Um, the save button is only highlighted when changes are available, the same as it being bold over here. Um, other things that I can show you is, so if I go over onto the ride plot, um, and uh, Damien's fantastic stack view, uh, my favourite, uh, you see I've got a section here which seems a little bit strange. So if I highlight that with uh, shift uh, left click, I get a new interval. Go back to the editor, I can um, highlight an interval here and it will highlight it, um, select it in the um, in the uh, in the right editor, which is quite useful. Um, and as you can see here, there's some dodgy values. Um, I can copy uh, the uh, contents of the selection uh, view, go into something like um, Office, uh, which is Open Office, but it also works with Excel and it works on Windows. I've done all of that. Um, the paste buffer is using a standard of using tabs to delimit each of the uh, uh, cells, and that seems to work fine. I can uh, copy that and uh, go back and paste it anywhere I like um, in here. Um, what I've also got is um, a little green triangle that appears. I'm going to do it on any values here when the uh, um, value is too precise. So if I, if I type th these two rows here, are, obviously there's a gap in recording. If I run that, fix gaps in recording, um, and I'll tell it to interpolate anything, any gap less than uh, 30 seconds, if it's if it's uh, greater than 30 seconds it's a stop. If I do that it's uh, going to add some new uh, new rows here that uh, basically get us from 0 to, to 5. Um, but you'll see there's a little green triangle to tell me that this value is too precise for this column. Um, so that means warning when I edit it, 
it's going to lose some of that precision. Uh, the only other thing I really want to show you in this demo is just quickly, if, if I decide I've completely mucked up, and uh, I think this is getting ruder then, so if I've completely mucked up, I can revert back to the saved ride and all my changes are undone. Um, that's a whistle stop tour of um, the ride editor. I'm going to work on um, putting a ride plot here, undo, uh, join, and uh, merge files, but for now, um, that's it. Thanks very much for listening.